together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this song is about colors. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Now take two. Mix two colors and you'll make something new. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. You can also add a little bit of black or white. Yeah! <laughs> it's so good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A blue bird. That's right! Let's see if you can guess what my other paintings are. What's this? A blue butterfly. Yes! And what's this? Hmm, it looks like a blue shoe. That's right! What's this one? That's a blue dragon. Rawr! Did you notice something about all my paintings? Look again. I painted a blue bird, a blue butterfly, a blue shoe, and a blue dragon. What do they all have in common? They're all blue. That's right. Today, I'm only painting blue things. Pig's paintings give me an idea. Let's make blue our special color of the day. I'm crunching leaves, but only blue leaves. I see one. Let's look for more. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it. <laughs> Yay. See you. Ms. Panda, what are you doing? Hi, Monkey. I cut out all of these colored shapes, and now I'm sorting them. Can I help? I would love it if you helped. Thank you, Monkey. First, find all the blue squares and put them in a box. Okay. Hmm. There's one. There's another one! This 
This is blue. It is, but that's a circle. We only want blue squares. Oh, right. I forgot. Here's a blue square. Thank you, monkey. Now let's gather all of the red squares. Okay! Here. Here. Here's one. Here. Oh, and here. Splendid. Should I look for yellow squares now, Miss Panda? That's a good idea. Okay. Here. And here. Great! And what's left? Two circles! Okay, let's put both of them in their own box. Okie dokie! We've sorted all the shapes! Thank you so much, Monkey! What are all of these shapes for? Whatever we want. We can use them to make art projects. Ooh, I could use the two circles to make a mask. Look! <laughs> <laughs> you certainly could, Monkey. I knew those circles would come in handy. <laughs> Pig, Fox, I'm going to show you a new way of painting. Mm. Um, I don't see any paint brushes. That's right, Fox. We're not going to paint with paintbrushes. Huh? Huh? We're going to paint with sponges. Ready to see what happens? Uh -huh. Okay. Do you want to start with blue paper or red paper? Mm, blue, please. And I'll take red, please. Great. Now, pick up a sponge. Dip it in the yellow paint <laughs> and start painting. Oh, 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 look, my paper is turning orange because red and yellow make orange. My paper is turning green. That's right. <gasps> look how smooth it looks. I'm tapping my sponge. <laughs> it looks rough, like, like rocks. Smooth and rough are textures. Say it after me. Textures. Textures. I'm done. Me too. Let's hang up your paintings and look at them. What's something that's the same about your paintings? We both painted with sponges. That's right. What else? We both painted with yellow. Yes. And what's something different about your paintings? Mine came out green. And Pig's is orange. And my painting is rough, but Fox's is smooth. That's right. Now, what do we do when we're done painting? We go play. Uh-huh. But first... We clean up. Oh, right. That's right. Let's clean up together. Okay. okay. It's story time. Yay! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Topsy Turvy. This is a story about a very strange day. How strange? Let's find out. Let's begin. Topsy Turvy, written by Rohini Nilakani, illustrated by Angie and Upesh. I do not know why I woke up very early today. It seemed like it was going to be a very strange day. 
nothing at all was as it really should be, and I could hear someone shouting loudly at me. My bed had climbed right up the wall, and my little clock had grown very tall. My umbrella was twirling madly round and round. My red and blue cap was making a clicking sound. What on earth has happened to my little room? I fear I am going to faint very soon. The fan has turned into a big octopus. My sister's doll is eating beans and rice without a fuss. My cat is sitting up in Papa's chair, and look, a mouse is reading the news on the air. In the mirror, ah, see, I am seven feet high. I know I am going to loudly cry. But now look, here comes a magic man. Sorry, sorry, he says. I will do what I can. Yes, yes, it was I who made this little mess. It was not so nice of me, I do confess. So, abracadabra and chin chin chu, room, get back in order. One, three, two. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. Let's sing a counting song about potatoes. Potatoes? Yes, potatoes. It goes like this. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Are you ready to count potatoes with me? Yeah! Let's go! Here we go. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Again. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Ooh, that was fun. That was wonderful. Thank you for singing with me. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Hey, everybody. Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you, too. Let's all play the alphabet game. When I show you a letter, say its name. Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? M. What's this letter? What's this letter? W! What's this letter? Z! Now let's do it fast! M N W Z N W Z M Z N M W M W N Z Nice work, everybody! That's how you play the alphabet game! When you see a letter, you say its name! Woo! The letter B! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely! Let's practice making the letter N. Who can think of a fun way to do it? Let's make letters in the sky with clouds. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Hedgehog, show us how. Okay. <laughs> N. 
fun! Ah. Great! I'll trace the next one. Hmm. In. Terrific tracing. Now, let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll try next. N. Oh. Nice job. I want to try. <laughs> Did it! Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? N. Exactly. Uppercase N. And what's this letter? N. That's right. Lowercase N. Nice job. Wow! Wow! Cool! Nice work, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Goose. N. Here's Monkey with a healthy habit. Let's wash our hands. Make sure your hands are wet and you've got plenty of soap. If you know the words, sing along with me. First you rub your hands together and then you scrub the backs. Slide your fingers in between, I think you've got the knack. Then you grip your hands together, then twist around your thumbs. Rub your fingers on your hands, and after that you're done. Now rinse your hands and dry them off. Let's show off our clean hands. Yay! Goodbye! And now, it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye. Before we say hello again, we need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> mm -hmm. Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Sweet and low, sweet and low, wind of the western sea. Father will come to his 
Silver sails all out of the west Under the silver moon Sleep, my little one Sleep, my pretty one Sleep